Okay, how many cars will Tesla produce in 2021? That's the question we all want to know. Now here is some analysis. So the starting point is the capacity published in last October from uh, Tesla 3Q update. So we can see the number here, the capacity, nameplate capacity for S and X is 90K, for Model 3 and Y in Fremont is 500K, and Model 3 in Shanghai is 250K. So how should we understand those numbers? So actually, they are not very straightforward. Let's step into more data. This page is the most important page in the pack. Actually, that is, that is the foundation of this work. In Shanghai, there used to be monthly production and the delivery data available. So we managed to pull them together from various source and verify them, double check, triple check, cross check, then present the, the data here. You can see in the second column and also the third column are the, the monthly data. So the data in blue have some uncertainties, but this reflects the best estimation combined with other sources other source of information. So from the monthly data, we can get the quarterly data, Shanghai, and we know the worldwide data. This is 100% accurate, published by, the, uh, by Tesla. So we can get Freeman data because there's only two producing site, sites uh, in 2020. Similarly, we can get the delivery data. And uh, this is the foundation of our uh, further analysis. And of, of course, plus S and X, we match the total production for and also total deliveries. The first one is the Freeman uh, Gigafactory. Regarding the S and X production in Freeman, I provide the quarterly data in this table. So we can see a few uh, key takeaways. First, second quarter was severely impacted by the shutdown, about six or seven weeks. And the last quarter is trimmed by eight days shutdown. So it could be slightly higher, reached to 17 or uh, 17,000 level. If you read the overall numbers, the quarterly rate is uh, fairly stable, roughly at about uh, 17,000 level. So the annual production should be 68,000 compared to the nameplate capacity of 90,000. So we expect a moderate markup to 70,000. This is roughly 78 of nameplate capacity. So still a very comfortable target. This is the table for model three and Y in Freeman. So we can see again, second quarter was heavily impacted by the shutdown. So it could be 85,000. So the last quarter, 95, implies about 380,000 a year. That is 76% uh, of the nameplate capacity, 500,000. So the quoted number actually show a very good uh, growth trend. See, 71,000 could be 85,000, 91,000, and 95,000. So we expect the, this trend will continue in, next, in this year, 2021, with a lot of further optimization in the production line. So the four, four quarters rate in this year are estimated at 95, which is a repeat of the last quarter, and they ramp up 5,000 5, per quarter. So the total number is 410,000. So this is a uh, about 82% of the nameplate capacity. So it's still something I would say reasonable. The second one is Shanghai Gigafactory, and this is the, the most important production site um, for Tesla now. So these are the quarterly numbers for Model 3 production in Shanghai last year. So a few Keep uh, takeaway points. So Shanghai started Model 3 production from zero in January of last year. The whole year showed very strong, very, very strong ramp up trend. The total production is about 155,000. So here, 
it's a piece of a uh, news or you can call it rumor in last year November. I put a screenshot here and the link. You are very welcome to read by yourself. The title says Tesla Shanghai weekly production in November two reach fifty seven hundred. Weekly 5700 is equal to roughly 25,000 uh, a month or 290,000 a year. So we estimate the December rate at 24,000, which pretty much in line with this report. There's a, another piece of news or rumor in the same months. And this one actually is very important. Uh, again, we'll provide the screenshot and also the link here. And the title says, Tesla Shanghai plans to produce 550,000 cars in 2021, more than half of the global production. This sentence is very important. I highlighted it. 100K for export. So the core message of the article is 550,000 production includes 300,000 Model 3 and 250,000 Model Y. 100,000 for export, M3, Model 3. I have been working in China for many years, and this sounds uh, KPI, internal KPI, very much. Actually, this is a, probably not a stretching KPI. Let's come back to this point. The half, more than half of the global production. This message not only gave out a target for Shanghai, 550,000, but also the global production target. So let's say the global uh, production target should be less than 1.1 million. Otherwise, Shanghai will not be half more, will not be more than half of that one. That's clear. Another one is it should be more than 800,000 because you see the math here. If that's 800,000, two thirds of that will be 533 and still below 550. So the title would have been more than two thirds of global production. So if you're sort of uh, familiar with numbers, you will get a sense that the global pr production should be maybe one million or close, just say around one million. That is the sort of an impression I got from this title. And here is a late, latest information uh, from China. This is a, a study from Industrial Securities uh, published in January of this year. So basically a few days ago. So the, this is a screen, screenshot of the slides. It has a lot of information. I'm not sure all of them are very accurate, but the core message here, uh, first, they predict 223,000 uh, production of this year with uh, 278,000 uh, M3 and 245,000 MY. Uh, about 100K uh, M3 is for export. So this is a very close to the previous message uh, in, in the November. It's slightly marked down. So Model 3 from 300K to 278K and Model Y from 250K to 245K. So these two piece of information could be linked or could be independent, but apparently they are pointing to roughly the same, same point. So is 550,000 possible for Tesla Shanghai? So I'd like to share a big picture. So you see here, this building is phase one, currently producing model three for a year now. And this is newly constructed or finished uh, building for phase two, dedicated to Model Y production. You see they are neighbors next door to each other, very, very close. And you see the background. This is a highly industrialized uh, area with a lot of commercial and uh, uh, buildings, storage buildings as well. So most of the, those buildings belong to suppliers of Tesla because Tesla is the hottest topic and also the most important EV company in China now. So any suppliers who serve Tesla will get a big premium, a big jump in their share price. So literally 
Tesla is their most important customer. So all of them are very eager to get Tesla's contract, and whoever gets it will establish a facility as closer as possible around Tesla campus. So this is what happened uh, here. Is 550,000 possible for Tesla Shanghai? So for Model Y, I think um, it's very possible, given the production rate of December, roughly 24,000, and also new, the news leak in November about capacity, 5.7,000 per week. So you know, 300,000 is an easy target to me, and we could be more with some luck. Regarding Model Y, it's more interesting. If we look back, Shanghai produced 156,000 Model 3 in the first year, partially impacted by the pandemic, uh, not very much. So now Model Y tried to ramp up from zero again in January. Shall Model Y repeat what happened to the Model 3, 156,000 for first year? Not exactly. Remember that Model 3 was run up from zero with brand new factory and less experienced stuff and also limited suppliers around at that time. Now, Model Y is totally is in different shoes. The 3 and the Y actually share 75% of the parts, most, most of them from local supplier, suppliers in China. And phase 1 and 2, you see in the picture, they are next door to each other, surrounded by countless vendor suppliers, and uh, I'm sure they are sharing a lot of them, facilities. So, you know, you see the strong ramp up trend in Model 3 last year. And that implied that the team have learned a lot about know-how, many lessons learned from phase one. And those lessons learned and know-how can be applied to Model Y directly, even by the same staff. So, and there are more uh, new technologies like GigaPress. So the team keep inventing new technology, new tools to apply to the production line. With, with all of this combined, I believe the Model Y run path will be much more swift, smooth. The 250K is very possible. And here, for the sake of uh, being conservative, we can mark down to uh, 220,000. One thing I want to point out is this production target is nearly pandemic free, pandemic risk free, because the local Shanghai government really know how to deal with the virus more than any other government in the whole world. Another one is they for sure can get enough vaccine if they really need, and they can apply them within a week to the, to the people, uh, the residents or staff uh, in that region. So here's a quick summary of Fremont and Shanghai. So Fremont S and X, 70,000. Sui and Y in Fremont, 410,000. Shanghai Model 3, 300,000. Shanghai Model Y, 220,000. So the total number is exact uh, 1 million. So Fremont provides 480,000 and Shanghai provides 500. 20,000. Uh, this is my estimation. The next one is about the Gigafactory uh, Berlin. Now it's exactly one year since the front cleaning work uh, last January. So Giga Berlin is expected to start production in the coming summer, probably July or August. That's the official uh, timeline. Currently, it's just almost finishing, almost finished the roofing. There's still something missing here and here and here, and there's no wall yet. You can see pretty heavy snow. Uh, in, that's the environment. This picture from uh, the video shared by Elon a few days ago. So in my view, due to union work hours, regulation, shortage of laborers, permit approval process, pandemic, lockdown, etc. We all see those news uh, in the last few months. So I expect a delay, uh, maybe a big delay. Hopefully we can see some production in November. So for this year, I assign about 7,000 production contribution. 
this time a thousand is based on the is based on the analog to the Model 3 one part in Shanghai for the first two months. Next one is about the uh, Austin Gigafactory. It has been half a year since the ground cleaning work uh, for Austin happened in July last year. So given about one and a half years construction period, the phase one factory could start production in early 2022. So it does show a faster pace uh, than Berlin Gigafactory. But the starting date actually is half a year later than the Berlin. So it will be a very pleasant surprise if Austin can contribute any production to this year. But I think zero, case, zero is the base case. So this is the summary of all. You saw the number before, adding the Berlin 7,000. You can get 1 million and 7,000 total production. I also added a risk factor based on this uh, five level of risk. So three months as an X, because it is a uh, pretty much repeat what happened this year. So gave a moderately low risk. For three and Y, it's moderate uh, target because it's involving some uh, small run path. Shanghai, repeat of the last uh, two months, considered low, etc. So this is a weighted risk factor, 2.1. That implies that this 1,700,000 target is moderately low target. So the key for least company guidance is promise reasonably low and deliver high. And Tesla actually is, is in much better position they could give a delivery guidance for 800,000 to 850,000. That is an amazing 60 to 70 year on year uh, growth compared to 2020. The actual number they could deliver, I see that they can deliver 1 million cars with no problem. That is amazing 100% year on year growth. If you really interested in the, you know, Stretching target. If you really want to know what is the stretching target, and this is my version, I increase the numbers for each factories uh, by some level. For example, Berlin was seven thousand, now thirty thousand. That's reflect to reflect about five months early ramp up production, starting from say August. The total number will be one point one six million. And the weighted risk factor is 4.1, which pointing to moderately high case. And the previous page was moderately low case, 1 million and 7,000. So that is my view on Tesla's this year production. Let me know if you have, if you have any comments or questions. Thank you very much for your time.